Melissa Rose, Angela from Sleepaway Camp. And I just want you to know that you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Yeah! Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. And this one's going to be on Action USA. This is from MVD Rewind Collection, and it's directed by Jon Stewart. The movie follows this girl named Carmen who witnessed her boyfriend getting murdered, and before they can kill her, these two cops end up getting her and protecting her. And now the main mafia boss thinks that she knows where the jewels are, that was the reason her boyfriend got killed, that she knows where they are. And he sends in his top gun to, you know, chase after him and take her out. So now she has to, you know, try to stay alive and the cops have to try to keep her alive before the mafia catches up and kills her. Movie came out in 1989. And let me tell you, this movie lives up to its name. USA America, but action there are so many stunts in this movie like like jaw dropping stunts like i can't believe they did that kind of stunts like real shit and it, it, right off the bat too like a helicopter they the the whole thing of this is the boyfriend has these jewels right billy uh what's his name billy ray and he has these jewels and the mob wants them back and he you know isn't going to give them so the mob tries to shake him up a little bit they actually take him from a heli in a helicopter and like hang him out of it over the water and everything and they're trying to scare him and he's still not going to give him up they drop him from the helicopter into the water and it's a far drop and i'm just thinking like that had to hurt like you know it had to hurt him somehow and or the stunt and i don't even know if it's a stunt man to be honest it looked like it was him some of the things in this the actual actors were doing the stunts um like i'm pretty sure that might have been him in the stunt i'm not sure but like they even take the helicopter while he's dangling from the helicopter through a city like low and it was like incredible there's car chases uh, they flip over a bus full of kids now i don't think the kids are in there obviously when they fl jump the bus but they're supposed to be a jump and they are there's like this traffic that's held up from the bus. They try to jump over that and they miss it. it it's just like, oh my God, insane. And then like, <laughs> there's a really stupid part. It was funny. The guy veers out of the way and smashes through this guy's house. And the guy's like, you hit my house, you asshole. He's like, oh, hey, sorry about that. You know, so-and-so. And he starts to drive off. The house blows up. It was just like ridiculous shit. Now, Besides the stunts and everything, the movie is, is, it's cheesy, but it's fun as hell. Like, this is such a fun movie. I never heard of this before till recently. I, now, this is the, obviously, the MVD Rewind collection. Um, and it did come out for Vinegar Syndrome, and that sold out really quick. And I don't know why. You know, I'm like, why did this sell out? So, I have my Rewind collection one. And I didn't want, I never watched the vinegar syndrome, vinegar syndrome when I watched this one. And wow, I guess that's why, because this was fantastic. It is so much fun. The guys, the might like the bad guys are, are, are kind of likable. Like they're kind of end up like being a little, like not over the top goofy, but like dumb, I guess you could say. Um, our, our heroes in this are a knockoff of lethal weapon they are Riggs and Murtaugh and and he even has the jacket just like um Riggs wears in the movie like hair everything and it's just so funny it's like holy shit and it's played he's played by Max dad now I'm trying to remember his name Max dad from um always in Philadelphia also the main guy from Hack O'Lantern and so many others i'm pretty sure his name is gregory scott cummings but i'm not 100 percent on that but i'm pretty sure that that's him um again a young young guy 1989 this is a year you know a few years after hack o lantern so even then he not that he aged but like it's a totally different character and everything he seems older um but like uh he was uh 
he was fun too. The girl they're pro trying to protect, she was, you know, a fun character as well. Even his partner, he's just, he's kind of just like Danny Glover. I'm, I was waiting for the, you know, like, uh, I'm too, getting too old for this shit. I'm just waiting for that. But, uh, but it had, it, the movie was, was great. It has a lot of, like I said, a lot of likable characters. The, the dialogue is just cheesy as hell. It's, it's, it's so much fun. Like, I seriously cannot recommend this more to watch. Now, not everything I review I, I like, you know, um, I might like a little bit. This has so much rewatchability. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I enjoyed the hell out of this. Laughing while I was watching it. Didn't look at my phone. Uh, I just, like, jaw-dropping shit. There's a part where um, Max Dad will say is kind of like a, he's kind of being they took him as like a held as a hostage in a way and uh he's fighting with the guy in the back seat next thing you know they smash through the back windshield of the car and it was him with the guy now of course they probably didn't really smash through an actual back windshield but like the car is moving they're driving, they smash through it, and they're fighting and everything. is insane. And then the whole time, Max Dad, which is terrible because I can't remember his name, is trying to jump over into this truck uh, that has his partner and the girl. And they're like, come on, jump, jump. And he's trying to, and you could tell he's leaning out. And then all of a sudden he goes back like this real quick, and a car drives right in the middle of them and goes. And it's like, that wasn't a stuntman. That was him. Like, he was this close of being hit by a car like full speed it was insane absolutely insane action usa is the perfect fucking title for this movie it was awesome like so good and i i am so shocked i've never heard of this before um but this was fun and this looked really nice too i think sometimes the rewind collections they look nice but they're not like great uh like the one recently i did it's like it, uh mortuary it looked good but like it kind of still didn't look great you know this looked awesome like it looked you know 1080p and everything like it was cleaned up really nice and it didn't take away from the movie or anything it just looked good um fantastic uh i'm really giving this like a you know high praises here but like i was really pleasantly shocked at how good I, th I found this. Like they're driving in car crowds and all this stuff. It's just so much action. If you're looking for an action movie and you haven't seen this before, please do yourself a favor and check this out. So it's 80s cheese fun to the max. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was really good. But uh, like I said, this is from the Rewind Collection. It's different, kind of a a different look at this uh you know the front doesn't have any stickers or anything it just kind of like looks like that and the side actually says eric's audio club which is you know different and there's like a little symbol here and the side has this on it and then uh the back is just like that now i'll be honest out of everything with this movie i don't like this cover at all like i think it looks terrible to be honest um it just it's it's ugly as hell so luckily when you take off the slip uh, slip case they have this cover underneath because the other side is the same thing and this cover i like a lot i like the blue i like the the drawing you know i i like the fire and everything and when this guy his name is drago he's the top gun that they call in he they're like which one is he? is he getting off the plane where is he he comes out of the smallest plane i've ever seen in my life and he's it's so small he's actually able to lift up the back of it and move it so that it's parked right i never saw it before in my life it's like a one person thing crazy but that cover is fantastic i love that cover and even the back it just has a guy on fire which is another insane part like some things blew up a little too easily i think but i that's the fun in it <laughs> but uh there's that and then inside here, like I said, you have the reversible cover. And there's the boring-ass white Blu-ray, which is region A, B, and C. 
Uh, this is 89 minutes long and uh, it's rated R. It is rated R. But like again, like the reversible cover is the other other cover. But then you get a little poster in here. And uh, unfortunately, they're not double-sided, but you get this ugly one. <laughs> unfortunately, I would have much rather had the blue one. But you get a little poster. I kind of, I don't know, I don't really like, I like, I think posters are a good idea, you know. But I don't care about them. But I think that the posters for these should be a little bigger. They're, they're just kind of small. I think they should be a little bigger. Uh, I'm not sure on the measurements on it, but like, you know, just a bigger poster. But yeah, Action USA, really a lot of fun. Um, it's nothing you haven't ever seen before, but there's, you know, twists going on. And, you know, I don't even, I wouldn't say character development in a way, but uh, it's, it's just fun to see, like, you know, the lethal weapon ripoff going back and forth at each other and bar fights and, you know, all this kind of shit. It's just, it was just such a good, good movie. Um, I really can't, honestly, I really can't recommend it enough. It just sit back you know, have a, a drink, do whatever's legal in your area, put this movie in, you're going to have a blast, an absolute blast. Um, I, I enjoyed the hell of it. But yeah, now that I've set it all the way up here for you, hopefully when you watch it, it stays up there and not like, eh, okay, because sometimes the people do that to me and I don't mean to raise the bar so high, but like, this was fantastic. I, I, I said it how many times, you know? But anyway, if you've seen this movie, let me know what you think about it. What's your favorite scene? Uh, if you don't like the movie, tell me why. Just, you know, uh, And tell me if you have the Vinegar Syndrome one or if you have this one. Um, and Or both. And which one you think. And what do you think of the picture? You know, Tell me anything about it. Tell me anything about it. But uh, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link where you can purchase it. I'll also put a link below for the trailer. But like I always say, proceed with caution. It may contain spoilers. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.